There we go. Good evening, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Let us get started. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Just mobilize up and down in the cat cow sort of a motion. Inhale, lifting and exhalation all the air out to the mouth as you stretch, puff up through the arch of your hand. Inhale, reaching open and exhalation, round, round, round. One, two, three, four corners of your body. Here we go. Take a little meander journey. Up and down, side, side. One corner dies, the other corner follows. And just allow your body to experience the element of water, the element of space, the element of air as you do this. Now neutralize a little balancing, right and left foot, there's your inhale, exhalation and releasing down. Left arm, right leg, looking down, exhalation, release. Find breath, this is your inhalation, fingers and your toes are well extended. Exhalation, returning down. Learning then to firm that navel in quite a bit. Exhalation, returning. One more on each side. This is your inhale. Here now, exhalation. Inhale, lengthen left arm, right leg. And exhalation, returning down. Cylindrical lubrication of your TOJ. Inhale, half loop. Exhalation, another half. Inhale, and there, exhalation. Relax your neck there. Let your cervical spine get the low service as well. Opposite lubrication. Exhale. Inhalation, exhalation. Then inhale, puff up, exhalation. Two more then, inhale and exhalation. Inhale again and exhalation. Toes will tap, elbows set, lowering of your elbows. Grab hold of the upper arms, forearms are parallel or interlacing of the fingers. Cover between your shoulder blades, exhalation, knees will come off the floor. Walking that feet, bend your knees ever so slightly. Right leg goes behind you, bending of the right knee, internal rotation, back heel off the floor. Exhale, right leg behind you. Inhale, internal rotation, exhalation, pull that right foot back. Two more, inhale and exhale behind you. Last one, find breath. Exhale, straight leg far behind you. Stay here for a moment, a little pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Looking down towards your navel, almost like you're asking the upper foot to reach itself away from the shoulder. One more deep breath as you press up into the upper leg, straighten that leg as you firm into the quads, into the knee, into the ankle, on your way, down, 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 down. Once you return, right hand comes, half camel, reaching open. Left arm will follow you, just your first one, so go easy on the body, looking up and back. Inhale, returning, exhalation, center. Stepping now your right foot horizontally out to the side. So I'll turn to the front so you can see. Tailbone towards the lower knee. Inhale, grab hold of your left wrist. Your left wrist from the heart. Pull that wrist line skyward. Exhalation, gently easy does it towards your right side. Position, 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 using that right elbow to help you release, release, release. Pull that wrist out to the right. One more deep breath into the rib cage. Exhalation, stay here. Right hand comes down. Let's go for internal rotation. Inhale, exhale. Spiralically, so you're allowing these tissues, your tendons, your ligament to experience all the um, possibilities of how they need to stretch in a spiralic, well-rounded fashion. 
Here's your exhalation. Stay here for a moment. Top hand goes up away from you. Then pull that fingers into the space behind you to return finally center again. Coming back to your elbows and your knees again. In the lacing of the, once you measure your arm distance, in the lacing of the fingers, puff up between your shoulder blades, toes tucking, exhalation, going the knees off the floor. Look towards the navel, let's walk your feet towards your elbow. Squeeze that left leg up into the space behind you. Bend that knee going for internal rotation. Exhalation, firming into that leg behind you. Internal rotation, navel in, please. Exhalation, knee behind you and up. Inhale, third one. Exhalation, away from the body. Last one together, internal rotation. Exhalation, behind you. Stay here. Gently, gently, almost like you're pulsating that leg into the space behind you, into the space above you. Give it a try, testing, testing, testing. One more deep breath, squeezing in that back leg on your way then. Down, 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 down. Knees are parallel. Left hand comes, half camel. Tailbone going forward. Right hand's going to follow you. Your first one, so go easy on the body. Look towards that right hand. Firm your the quads to return. Exhale, left hand will follow you. Left foot goes diagonally, horizontally to the left. Tailbone towards your lower knee. Horizontal hands, grab hold of your right wrist from the back. Pulling that wrist skyward, going to your left side. Easy does it, release, release, pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Next inhalation, pull that wrist a little bit further out to your left. Stay here for a moment, nice deep breath along the whole right side of the rib cage. Find one more deep breath, lower hand comes down. Internal then, that means wrist, fingers, elbows and your shoulder blades, We'll follow this intention. Going to the left side, going to the left side, and we're going to the left side. On your own now, be as intuitive as possible, reaching out almost like the branches of the tree. Away from the trunk you go. Away from the trunk you go. Inhalation, returning, coming down. Right hand comes down. Both feet will land, ankles together, coming to the edges of your side there. Walk that hand to a place where you feel like you can sink this whole right side towards the ground. Okay, left hand to the lower edge of the rib cage. Release that lower rib cage as you use your hand to show you how to breathe there, finding that deep breath. Lower part of the rib cage gets the breath. See if you can expand the awareness towards the back of the rib cage. Mm -hmm. Make the breath nice and deep. If you have stability, left hand to the center of your sternum. Deepen that breath, exhalation, left foot. Flexion of the ankle, left foot away from the shoulder. Firming into the core, exhalation, returning down. Inhalation, upper leg away from the body, exhalation, release. Two more then, this is your inhale, this is your exhalation. Squeeze into the leg from the thigh to the knee, to the shin, to the ankle, strong engagement in the legs. Meanwhile, relax this part. Exhalation, returning down, 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 down. Stay here, then let's try. Can we peel now lower hip off the floor? Use the intention of your upper arm to help you. Exhalation, returning down. If that was too much, just play with this one. Use your hands, right? Otherwise, two more. 
firming of the into the lower arm inhalation lifting exhalation returning one more firming the engagement of that lower arm finding that deep breath now you firm this whole right side finding one more deep inhalation exhalation returning upper foot in front of you okay walk your hands towards your right side this one you have done with me before oscillatory motion towards your right elbow you go towards that right elbow and if the body allows a little pressure like you're learning to traction the edge of that hip meanwhile turning the ribcage turning the chin towards the right as you open up that space and breathe deepen the breath again into the right side of the rib cage when the exhalation comes maybe offer a little more encouragement some of us stay here some of you need a little bit of a pulsatory motion to educate the body to learn to open again deepen that breath next exhalation returning take your right hand uh, aligned to the edge of your hip left hand will support you up and down a few sets right otherwise option two we have inhale lifting exhalation down firming away from the ground lifting exhalation down some of you lower foot start to come off the floor you try that once you come up can you have enough core to lift that lower foot off the floor exhalation returning finding now coming back to this one again firming into your plank straight as a step low push up with your ankles together inhale into your upward facing dog exhalation elongation downward facing stepping your feet together right knee in towards your torso rounding of the spine external rotation inhale out to the side behind you exhale puff up knee into the forehead external rotation out to the side and behind you exhale coming through inhale external rotation it's a little more challenging than the internal rotation when you're upside down. So let's give it one more external rotation. And exhalation, lowering down. Once you return, knees are parallel. Half camel, right arm first. Left hand will follow you. Your second one, look towards that left hand. Tailbone forward first, inhale exhalation returning come to that right hand side again okay so this time bending of the upper knee aligning wrist hip knee and your ankle grab hold of your inner arch if this doesn't happen why don't you have a strap handy using a strap to go up and down but if your hand can catch hold of this inner arch Take the foot towards you first. That's your inhale. Exhalation, foot now, away from the body. Inhale, bend that knee. Exhalation, foot, away from the body. Once you come here, just gently oscillate that hip side to side. And maybe taking a little spiralic motion to educate the leg in relationship to the rest of your body. To feel a little comfortable here. Okay, next exhalation. Can we ex exert a little effort in the footwork? Meaning it's your foot that holds, grabs hold of the hand, that possesses the hand rather than the hand possesses the foot. Finding that deep breath. Some of us, we stay here. Some of you start to work on firming into that lower elbow, firming into that lower head, firming into that lower leg, 
and you have this. Okay, deepen that breath. One more deep breath. Exhalation, we return. Stay here for a moment for me. Exhalation, I'm gonna ask you to come. Lie on your back. Grab hold now, inner and your outer foot. Okay, again, strap people you have. Hang on. Four, catch this hold of your strap. Looks a little bit like this. Elbows to the side, everybody. Up and down, pulsate tree motion. Left side, up and down, up and down. Release, release, release. Meanwhile, let's anchor option one, right leg is straight. But if it's better to set up the right foot this way, set your right foot down. However you work with it, gently, gently oscillate that upper foot. Okay, deep breath, exhalation, head and chest off the foot. Like you're meeting the leg with your torso. Then inhale, head down. Inhale deeply. Exhalation, head and chest off the floor. Look to the navel, pull your belly in. Third one, inhale, head down. Exhalation, head and chest off the floor. Hold, no breath, hold breath. Inhalation, returning. Once you release, left hand out to the side. Switching hold, right hand to the outer edge of the upper foot. Okay, deep breath, strap people, use your strap, right hand out to the strap. Exhalation, top foot to the right side. Reposition your lower hip so you're on the out edge of that right hip once you come into your spinal twist. Turn, 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 look towards your left hand. Deepen that breath. Can we extend that right leg a little bit further away from the tailbone? Left side of the rib cage gets the breath. Make that exhalation a little bit lengthier. Come to that a uh, little quieter moment. Every step of the way, you're trying to make that inhalation a little bit fuller. You try to navigate your body down as you exhale. One more deep breath. Exhalation, release, coming back to the center. Knees towards your body, up and down, up and down. Next one, when you come up, will end up in your boat there. Perk up through the sternum, activation of the core. Once you feel like you have that balance, palms together, look up. Then your head back and find breath. Learn to channel your energy back to the center line as you perk up into the sternum. One more deep breath, exhalation, releasing of your hand. So go to your left side now. And ask you to switch out to your left side. Left hand, align to the hip, align to the edge of your feet there. Finding that place where you can sort of drape and relax into that left side. Take your right hand to the edge of your rib cage and use your hand to show you how to breathe there. Back of the rib cage gets the breath. So when you do these ones, use your lower hand to help you, if you don't need it, to the center. Here we have right foot as far out to the side as you press that foot away from the hip. 
Exhalation, returning down. This is your inhale, lifting. Here's our exhalation. This is your inhale, lifting, firming that leg. Exhalation. One more, inhale, lifting. Firm, 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 and breathe. Exhalation, returning down. Inhale, right hand skyward. Exhalation. So some of us, we start to play with this one with your right hand supporting. Otherwise, we go right hand coming skyward. Finding that breath, firming of your lower elbow. Deepen that breath. Inhalation here. Exhalation down. Two more. Inhale, rising. Exhalation, returning. Inhale again, we lift, exhalation, we turn. One more, firming into that lower arm, finding one more deep breath. Palms will be parallel as you exhale, ankles together as you come, low push up. Inhalation, upward facing, downward facing, firm your leg. Walk the feet a little bit forward as you curl that tailbone away from the body. Left leg first, behind the shoulder. Go slowly, have articulation as you square your hip, please. Left knee, puff up. That's your exhalation towards your torso, towards your forehead. External rotation out to your left. Stay by the midline. Exhale, coming through. Inhale, out to the side. Exhalation, coming through. Stay by the center. Exhalation. Mighty strong in the core as you go out to the left. Exhalation. One more out to the left side. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhalation, lower of your knees. Once you return, thighs are parallel. Left hand first, you'll have camel. Right hand and will follow. Look towards that right hand as you curl that tailbone forward. Finding deep breath, right hand first. Left hand will follow you. Once that left hand comes, we go to that left side again, releasing to the left side. Okay, let's try bending of the front knee. Okay, grab hold of your inner arch of that foot. Take the foot towards you. If this is not working today, just take your strap, strap into the arch of the foot, you go here. Okay, otherwise there's another way you have it. Deep breath, inhale knees towards you. Exhalation, away from the body. Inhale, coming through. Exhalation away from the body. Third one, inhale and there. Exhalation, returning. One more, find breath, exhalation. Gently just oscillate that hip side to side. Or some of you up and down. Some of you bend that knee slightly and you work with this one. Okay, it's all the necessary procedure that you need to liberate your hip arrangement here. Okay, bending of that knee, setting now, right foot in front of you. Elbows bending, walk your hands towards your left side. Use the mobi mobility of your left elbow to walk your torso towards the left, towards the left. Okay. How about right hand towards the upper knee? Either working with pulsation or just stay here. Breathe, torso turning towards the left. Left shoulder, front of your left shoulder and the front pocket of your right hip. You want to make that space between these two corners as lengthy as possible. Try to deliver that in your breath awareness. Exhalation, 
you draw that space between your left shoulder and our right hip quite, quite a bit. Exhalation, we return. Once you return, we set that foot down again. Okay, let's take your right hand down. Initially, you work with here, up and down a bit. If you're in next stage, firming of this lower arm, firming of the left side of your core, we come here. Exhalation, down. If this is smooth, you take your lower foot off the floor. Exhalation, down. Lower foot off the floor, okay? So remember, some of you had this one earlier. Some of you might want to attempt to try this guy off the floor. See if the body is willing to work with it here. Again, firming of that lower elbow, extension is the foot that holds onto your hand. Exhalation, returning. Once you return, right knee fold, we come lie on your back. Okay, bending that right knee, hands will be inner and outer edge of the foot. Use a strap if you need to. Strap people, arch of the foot holds the strap. Bending of your elbows out to the side. Gently, pulsation, pulsation, pulsation. Work with whatever the body is willing to work for you. Deep breath, exhalation, head chest off the floor. Look to the navel, firming of the navel in. Inhale, head down. Exhalation, head and chest off the floor. Hold it, no breath. Third one, inhale. Exhale, head chest off the floor. Navel in, tailbone up. Inhalation, release. Exhalation, left hand to the outer edge of the upper foot. Take that foot over down to your left, taking your gaze towards your right hand. You'll have then your spinal twist. Take a moment so that you are on the outer edge of your left hip, right? That left foot knows how to extend itself away from the shoulder. When you look over towards your right hand, reposition your shoulders so best as you can, you intend to have these two shoulder blades nice and flat. Out edge of the right hip gets the breath. If it's hard to breathe, just give your right leg or your lower leg a little bit of pulsatory navigation, please. Don't wait until for me to remind you. Give yourself that very organic way to process, to let go of things, to be okay with it. If you're staying still, work on the breath awareness. Deepen that breath into the right side of your shoulder, front side of your right shoulder. <clears throat> when the exhalation comes, can we direct the awareness to that right side even a little more? Eyes close, take a moment, channel the energy of the moon that you had recently, that full moon energy. Very bright, very clear, very calm. like almost like a station where you check in with yourself. One more deep breath. Exhalation, easy does it. 
returning that foot back to center. Go and bend that right knee. Okay, let's take your strap to the arch of this right foot. Right. Have a hold of that strap towards the foot, just you in your right hand. Left hand over the left thigh. Encourage your left thigh to come down. Inhale, bend that elbow, invite the foot to come closer. Exhalation, open up that foot away from the shoulder. Okay. Because you have a strap, let's utilize this one to give you a little bit of uh, circular rotation for that hip joint there. Like you're massaging the base of your, the head of your femur. You're massaging its cartilage, its synovian fluid right inside of that socket there. Then opposite rotation, opposite rotation. Some of you need to bend that right knee a little bit. Okay? Some of you, this feels a little too effortless. Then you release the strap, use the hand to grab hold of the arch of the foot instead. Either way, with your strap or with your hand, gently, gently, use a little bit of a creative movement to talk to that hip. Turn the gaze towards your left shoulder. Deepen that breath. Can you bring this foot as close to the ground so you can tuck your toes under it? Like you're pressing the pad of your toes out towards the floor. Next inhalation, bend that left knee towards you. Okay, now go for your hip circle with your left hip. External rotation first. Make that circle round, make that circle smooth. Once you get that external going, go for internal rotation. Meanwhile, you're trying to keep that right leg as straight as possible. Okay, back to your external rotation. Keep your knee folded. For some of you, you're inclined to stretch that left leg diagonally out away from the right side. See the body start to have this tendency almost a little frog-like. Yes, that means adding the awareness of your toes to help the extension of the ligaments of your tendons that resides in the inner cavity of your hip. It's a very intuitive, lighthearted navigation. That is your exhalation where the foot or your knee goes out. Isn't it? Exhalation, you intend to reach out a little bit further. We'll come back to this one. Next inhalation, returning. Both feet will go skyward. Hands will go skyward. Deep breath, curl your tailbone skyward. Exhalation, head and chest off the floor. Look to the navel, pull your belly in, hold your breath. Can you elevate your shoulder blades up a little higher? Hold it. Hold. Inhale, head down. No breath. Turn your tailbone skyward. Exhale, head chest off the floor. Look to the navel, hold your belly in, chin in, shoulder blades up a little higher. Inhalation, returning. Curl your tailbone skyward. 
Exhale, firming. Firm, core goes down, no breath. Inhale, returning. Exhalation, left knee in, right leg will be straight. Initially, let's grab hold of your strap. Take your strap by the arch of the foot. Left hand holds the strap. Right hand anchors your right hip down. Left foot out to the side. Use a very gentle, intuitive motion, either up and down or side to side. And let it become a circular gyration, circular gyration. For this left foot, left hip to become mobile. You have internal rotation, you have external rotation, right? See this foot, this leg is willing to come closer towards the ground. Some of you, this is not much of a intention. So you use your hand, grab hold of the foot instead. So however you work with it, see we can anchor that right hip down and breathe here. Eventually this Four knows how to hold down to the strap or hold down to your hands. Can we bring this left foot down a bit so the pad of your toes can touch the ground? Look towards your right shoulder. When the exhalation comes, do firm the core in. Please make that inhalation last. Next inhalation, we bend that right knee. Easy does it. External rotation, that means round that knee out to the right. Feel the perimeter of this loop, and you intend to make that loop a little bit wider every time. Feel that spherical um, awareness in that right hip. Let's go internal rotation. Some of you can feel the interconnection between the hip movement to your knee awareness, how your right hip connects so intricately to how the rest of your left leg is doing. Okay, back to your external again. External rotation, knee away from the shoulder. Okay, some of you incline to stretch that right leg nice and straight when you aim that knee out to the side. Almost very frog-like, right? And the more you can utilize the toe connection, the more you can help these tendons, ligaments that eventually attaches to your hip and your hamstring to become a little more elastic. See if you can feel that. Easy does it, have patience, have continuity. Ideally, you do this a little more regularly. There is a new video I just posted, I think it was yesterday, that has very similar to this practice. Okay, couple more. Wind that circle, nice and round, nice and dynamic. Okay, after this one, stay here. Right leg becomes straight again. Press those toes away from the navel. 
Inhale, left leg will return, coming back. Let go of the strap, strap people. Both legs and your hands will be nice and straight again. Back to your core engagement to consolidate everything. Inhale into the four corners of your torso. Hold your breath, curl tailbone skyward. Exhale, four corners of your torso will go up skyward. Head and chest off the floor. Look to the navel, hold your belly down. Firm it, hold it, no breath, hold. Inhale, returning. Hold your breath. Curl your tailbone up. And exhale. You have the shoulder articulation. Elevate those shoulders up and out of the socket so it won't feel like you're dragging too much. Belly down. Mental intention is going to help. Can you switch on your mental intention? Then all the core work will be quite simple. Third one, inhale, head down. Switch on your mental stamina as you go now, head and chest off the floor. Burn the navel in. Muscular engagement is easy when you can switch on your mental intention to help. Inhalation, head down. Interlacing of your fingers behind your head. Separate your feet out into a nice straddle. Pressing out into the balls of your feet as you direct your toes away from the shoulder. Okay, deep breath, hold your breath. Curl tailbone skyward. Exhale, push out into your feet, head and chest off the floor. Look to the navel, hold your belly in. Hold your breath, no breath, hold it, hold. Inhale, head down. Try again, curl tailbone skyward. Exhale, head and chest off the floor. Please don't yank up the neck, chin in, navel in. Switch on your mental strength a little bit stronger. Belly down, hold it. Pushing of your feet out to the side. Inhale, release. Both hands skyward. Long fingers, straight arms. Inhale deeply. Hold your breath, curl tailbone skyward. Exhale, two corners of your shoulder blades off the floor. Look to the navel as you push your feet out, please. Hold your breath, hold it. Firm the core in, hold, hold, hold one more for me. Inhalation, head comes down. Hold your breath, curl tailbone skyward. Exhale, press into your feet, head chest off the floor. Hold breath, navel in, chin in. Toe work, please. One more, deep breath, head down. No breath, curl your tailbone skyward. Exhalation, head and chest off the floor. Hold on to that breath, pull your belly in, chin in. Hold it, hold it, and hold it. Inhalation, head down. Gently, we guide your knees, bend your knees, coming now back to the center. Once you return, knees towards your body, up and down, up and down a bit, up and down, up and down a bit. Crossing hold of your ankles, that will give you the transition to come to your hands and your knees. Once you come to your hands and your knees, oscillation of that ribcage side to side. Okay, spiralic articulation of your TOJ again. Inhale, puff up. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, opposite rotation. Exhalation, release. Inhale, half circle. Exhale, another half. Next inhalation, lowering down, elbow set. This one you have done, frog extension. Separate your knees. Make sure you have the padding underneath your knees, please. Triple fold, quadruple fold your mat. Elbows are your parallel. Your hip, motion that hip forward back slightly. See if you can come to a place. Have a look at your alignment. Your shin are nice and straight. 
and your knees are right horizontally away from your hip. Okay. Puff up between your shoulder blades. Round your upper back. Get a few sets of deep breaths going. Maybe some of you need to maneuver your ribcage side to side a little bit. Maybe some of you need to readjust your feet a little bit. Sure, inhalation is deep and long. Exhalation, slow and complete. We'll pump the breath by the inner edge of your hip. And we begin. Inhale, puff up between your shoulder blades. Exhalation through your nose. If that's too much, exhale through your mouth. Inhale through that little circle in your tongue or in your lips. Take that breath into the back of your sacrum. Hold at the end of your inhalation. Tailbone forward as you exhale through your nose or through your mouth. The end of this exhalation, showing how through your nose. And we pump the breath again. Relax your hip, please. Smoothly through your circle, either through your tongue or through your lips. Exhalation through your mouth or through your lips, all the air out through the mouth. The end of this exhalation, regulate your breath. Back of the shoulder and the back of your sacrum are a mirror. Mirror image, implement your breath into those four areas. Right and left side of your shoulder blades, right and left side of your sacrum, SI joint. Exhalation, easy does it. Navigate, navigate, walk your elbows forward to come out of the pose. Once you return, catch hold now of your upper arms to measure your arm distance like this. Then when you interlace your fingers, look, your forearm should be in a triangle base. Okay, open up your palm and situate your head right between your hands. Toes will tap, exhalation, knees off the floor. Step your ankles, step your feet towards your elbows. Stay here, give it a few deep breaths. Make sure you're breathing into the back of your shoulder blades, into the back of your heart. From into the right leg, as you take now, it's a very, very decisive articulation. Right foot up away from the shoulder. Squeeze that leg as you square your hip, please. Imagine I've got my hand holding on to your ankle. Stay here or peel your lower foot off the floor. Use the core engagement that you've been working on so well. Deepen that breath. Take your breath into the back of your shoulders. Exhalation, squeeze that upper leg mighty tight. Elongation into the right foot. 
So you don't feel like all oh, your weight is on your head or on your neck. One more deep breath. Exhalation, Fur that right leg down. It's a very precise release. Firm that right leg down. Knees are parallel. <clears throat> Half camel, right arm first, inhale. Go easy on the spine, please. Only as far down as the body allows. Left hand away from the shoulder. Spread your left hand out to the side. Exhale, turn the palm down. Circular rotation of that shoulder. Inhale, turning the palms up and out. Exhale, down. Inhale, half circle. Exhale, another half. One more, inhale. Look to that left hand and exhale. Reverse, turning the palm out and away. Find breath, inhale. Look for that hand. Exhalation. Inhale, look at that left arm. Exhale. Train your peripheral vision. Inhale, look for the left hand. And exhale. Inhale, away. Exhale. Last one, inhale, exhalation. Left hand vertically skyward. Look at that hand as it goes behind you. Left hand skyward. Right arm will follow you. Lowering down into the elbows. Grab hold of your upper arms, toes tucking. Measure the distance in according to your proportion as you interlace the fingers. Take the palms out, crown between your palms. Chin in. Knees off the floor, that's your exhalation. It's a very precise, decisive elongation in the spine as you walk your feet forward. Learn to breathe here. Learn to curl that tailbone skyward. Learn to firm into the core. Squeeze into the left foot, left leg as you take left leg behind you. As high as you can anchor that foot, it is an upside down tree. So if your foot is the root of the tree as well as your toes. Learn to anchor it skyward. Some of you lower heel off the floor, lower foot off the floor. And now we stay. Finding strength and beauty in that simplicity, in the way that you divide your attention, in the way that you practice, in the way you find your strength, in the way that you find your connection to the midline, to the depth of your breath. Inhale into the back of your heart. Exhalation, anchor into the upside down tree. All your inversions is working on this upside down tree. Learning to square your hip every step of the way. Learning to separate the distance between your feet every step of the way. Firming into the upper leg, land that right foot as you squeeze the upper leg <clears throat> slowly, slowly down. Thighs are vertical. Inhale, left hand first. 
Left hand to the sacrum or to the foot, right hand's gonna follow you. Look over towards your right hand as you take that right hand out to the side. Half circle, exhale down. Inhale away from the shoulder. Look for the right hand. Exhalation. Inhale out and exhale in. Inhale away from the shoulder. Deep breath. Exhalation. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Reverse down. Right hand out to the side. Inhale. Palm will turn up. Exhalation. Inhale, right hand out. Exhalation. Third one, inhale, look for the right hand. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhalation. Inhale, right hand skyward behind you. Exhale, right hand away from the body. Take your hand in front of you. Once you return, let's come to your elbows again. Catch hold of your upper arms, measure your arm distance. In the lacing of the fingers, puff up between your shoulder blades. If you're not doing headstand, keep your head off the floor. Go to your forearm. <clears throat> Go to your forearm. Headstand people, cram between your hands, toes tucking. Headstand people, exhalation, knees off the floor. Headstand people, use your core, pick up those feet halfway up. Headstand people, stay here or take both feet vertically skyward. Now we stay. Forearm people, inhale between your shoulder blades. Exhalation. Firm the tailbone away from the shoulder. Head step people, every exhalation, you want to secure your leg, your thighs, your glutes, and your core. Doesn't matter where you are, commitment to the fullness of the breath, simplicity of the midline. Once you can connect to that simplicity, everything becomes a little easier. Pose becomes very elegant. One more deep breath, everybody. Spread the core in as you slowly, slowly lowering down your feet or your knees as you release. Cross hold of your ankles. Now we'll give you the transition to come to your seat. So lie on your back, grab hold of your ankles as you step your, step your feet towards your hip. Okay, turn the palms away. Exhalation, we elevate, come into your bridge. Now you're fullest one, just come to that place where you oscillate into a little crescent moon thing. Favor the right hip as you curl that right hip up, favor the left side. Your figure eight, navigation as you harmonize the right and the left side of your hip. Figure eight one direction, and then you have your figure eight another direction. Learning to neutralize all that leg extension, all that hip extension, and all, also all those core things that you did earlier. Tailbone going skyward. Bring your hands to the lower quadrant of your lungs. 
lower quadrant of your rib cage. Okay, inhalation, feel expression of your breath there. Exhalation, finding the four corners of your feet as you ground the four corners of your feet down. Feel the relationship between your knee, your shin, and your ankle. Feel relationship between the articulation of the spine to the leg engagement. Okay. Stay here for a moment. Wheel people, feel ready. Draw your, step your hands to the outer edge of your ears. Okay, wheel people, crown first. Stay or take the head off the floor. Only stay for as long as the body allows. Deep breath into the two corners of your rib cage, two corners of your torso. Inhale deeply. Wheel people, chin in first. Check your elbow alignment, please. From your bridge, easy does it. Slowly curling, curling. Let your tailbone safer be the very last one to return. <clears throat> Left leg on the top. Thread hold of your shin as well. Fingers in the legs, deep breath. Curl tailbone skyward. Exhale, head and chest off the floor. Look to the navel, firm the navel in, no breath. Inhale, head down. Curl tailbone skyward. Exhale through the mouth, head and chest off the floor. Belly down. One more, inhale, head down. Tailbone skyward. Exhale, head, chest, off the floor. Hold it, no breath. Inhale, release. Head comes down, right hand to the knee. Left hand out to the side. Spinal twist, knees to the right. Look over towards your left hand. Take the heel of your right hand to the crest of your left hip. And use the heel of your hand to encourage that corner, like you're trying to elongate that corner further away from the navel. Position your left hand, maybe up a little higher. Find a new spot. Motion that hand up and down a bit. See if you can find that perfect situation where you feel like you're optimizing the extension of the rib cage. Once you find it, let's use your right hand to help you. What part of the rib cage or your inner costal muscle is feeling the most? Rest your hands there, feel the warmth of your hand. Very nice, soothing, comforting hands, inviting you to breathe there, to occupy there. Eyes closed so you can envisage beautiful, bright sun in that spot. Initiate your exhalation a little slower. So uh, by the way, if you use the pad of your fingers, you can, your body will quite appreciate if you learn to massage every strand of your rib cage 
almost like you're polishing your music instrument there on a regular basis. You really don't want these tissues, your ligaments to get stick, get sticky. To me, it's like flossing your teeth every day. A little gentle massage, a little loving connection, a little note of loving and appreciation goes a long, long way. It's almost like you're navigating with the pad of your fingers to find areas that's been neglected for too long. When you go there, you give that love, you give that attention to your own body. Something you know how to do, but maybe you haven't done enough for your own self. Okay, next exhalation, easy does it. Release your hands first. Let's use your core now to return, neutralize. Separation of your feet, right leg on the top. Thread hold of your shin. Interlace hands behind your head. <clears throat> Cradle the base of your skull. Pull your skull away from the shoulder. Deep breath into your lower back. Hold breath, curl tailbone skyward. Exhale, head chest off the floor. Chin in, <clears throat> chin in the navel in, low breath, belly down. Inhale, head will release. No breath, curl tailbone skyward. Exhale, head chest off the floor. Hold your breath, pull your navel in, chin in. Inhale, head down. One more, curl tailbone skyward. Exhale through your mouth, head and chest off the floor. Hold your breath, navel in. Inhale, head down. Exhalation, right hand out to the side. Left hand over the knee. Invite your knee to go all the way out to the left. Place those knees downward as you turn the gaze towards your right hand. Eyes closed, just deepen that breath there for a moment. See if you need to reposition your body so you find a better comfort zone. That's number one. Once you find your comfort zone, induce the depth of this uh, pose, the depth of the practice with the fullness of your breath. That means the fullness of your mental attention. Whatever your mental attention is, there is your energy. You can use this practice to gain a lot to multiply your energy by putting all the mental focus there. Heel of your left hand will come to the corner of that right hip. Let's take the heel of your hand to navigate. It's a very intuitive thing. Your hand fits perfectly there, doesn't it? And you give yourself a little encouragement. Open up that space away from the navel. Like you're trying to induce a little more length. After that, walk your left hand to the side of the right ribs. Deepen that breath, look for the right hand. Can you mobilize your right hand up and down a bit? See if you can find a new spot that feels like you're really optimizing the extension of your intercostal muscles, the extension of your shoulders, your armpit region. Once you find it, eyes close. Use the warmth of your left hand to show you how to breathe in the way that you can optimize this pose.
Once you can secure the fullness of your breath, bring a gentle focus to your left fingers. Bend your uh, fingers and just very gently, gently. Navigate with such a delicate sensitivity into the edge of the rib cage. And some of you maybe you appreciate to add a little pressure. Like you're massaging the synovian fluid by the space between the ribs. Like you're massaging the muscle tissues, the fibers. And while you're doing this, it would be a nice idea to also have a little mental communication. How I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Sorry, I haven't visited you for a very long time. There you are. I'm going to make you feel more comfortable because you are a part of me and I'm a part of you. I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you for always being there. After all these years, you've never taken a vacation yet. How I love you and I appreciate you. And you breathe into it like you really mean it. Be tenderly sweet, like how you would to a good friend. Body will learn to appreciate you even more so. And next exhalation, gently, easy does it, release your hands first. Use your core to return your feet back. Once you return, hands will cup right above your knees, unwind your knees. And just a very gentle, gentle motion. Some of you, it's the circular motion that talks to your sacrum. Some of you, a little figure eight motion. Some of you do it without your hands. You in one, once more, incur very gently the activity of your core to neutralize things. Sometimes inducing a little strength is actually very reassuring for the body. Sometimes you need to just use your hand, let you be completely passive. Just be sensitive to what the body needs from moment to moment, because it's never really the same. Okay, once you release, take the feet down first, curl that tailbone just an inch or so slightly off the floor. A very gentle oscillation, make sure the two corners of your hips are in harmony are in a good space because you worked on them quite a bit today. Before you release your, then you gently release your tailbone down. Flexion of your ankles away from the knees. Cup your hands, interlace your fingers, cup your hands right by the occipital part of your skull. Gently elevate the skull up a little higher, chin in. First, you oscillate the skull slightly right left. And once you feel the weight of your skull in your hand, see if you can invite the neck to elongate by pulling the skull away from your shoulders. And very gently, separation of your hands, the tip of your occipital skull will just land perfectly on a single point. And that's a good space for your spine to recalibrate its alignment. Easy, easy does it. Navigate your shoulders under as you turn the palms out. 
Once you close your eyes, gentle extend your toes and your fingers out one more time before you release them completely. Use your mental awareness, light up the four corners of your shoulder, your torso again. Two corners of your shoulders and two corners of your hips, they are pale. Inhale, bring light into them. Exhale, relax them. Inhale, light up the two corners of your ankles. Exhale, relax them. Inhale, like you're lighting up all the digits in your toes, in your feet. Exhale, relax them. Inhale, two lights by your knee, right and left. Exhale, relax them, let them go. Inhale, two corners in your femur bones. Exhale, relax. Like you can feel the synovian fluid between your acetabulum and your femur head completely release and let go. Inhale, into the two corners of your shoulders. Exhale, relax them. Inhale, light up two corners of your elbows. Exhale, feel the weight of your elbows down. Inhale, light up your two wrists. Exhale, let them go. Inhale, light up all the digits of your fingers. Exhale, relax them. Inhale, awareness to your SI joint. Breathe like you're lighting it up. Exhale, relax them. Inhale, light up your TLJ juncture. Exhale, learn to switch it off. Back of your cervical spine. Seven of them in your cervical spine. Exhale, switch them off. Inhale, back of your eyes, in the cavity of your eyes. Exhale, relax. Inhale, two edges of your TLJ, breathe. Exhale, relax your jaw. Relax your lips. Inhale, the inner cavity of your brain, right in the middle of your skull, light it up. Exhale, dim that leg, switch it off. Breathe as you're finding sparkling lights throughout the pores of your skin. Exhale, you release them. Let the breath become a bit thinner, a bit lighter, almost like you are no longer breathing.
like you'll be encountering the body for the very first time. You're just watching it very, very quietly. Gently, hands to the lower corner of your rib cage. Feel the movement of your rib cage as you start to deepen your breath again. Very subtle, very quiet, but very deep breathing. Gently gather the knees towards the torso. Take a moment, either oscillate side to side or firming into the core to return. Body will come back to the upright. <sighs> Anchor down for uh, two corners of your seat. Horizontal extension. Match yourself into the space behind you. Exhalation, returning back to the center again. Take a moment, eyes close. Three circles to close. Inhale. Beauty is on my right, on my left. Beauty lives before and behind me. Beauty then is above me. Midline, beauty lives within me. Surely beauty lives beneath me. Within your mind's eye, second circle, you see yourself from the practice. Just the first thing that comes to mind, what you see yourself doing, stay connected to that. Palms together, mark that midline, like you're securing this image in your mind's eyes. And that will be your homework until we meet again. Of course, even if you just remember one thing, that will be plenty good. Last one, the journey of our time together, even though we're not physically in one space, but energetically we're all connected. You use the circle to reassure yourself of that. There's no boundary as to how well we can stay connected. In midline, we always return everything back again to the inner seam of our frame. Stabilize that existence as best as you can as a wholesome individual. Take a moment, connection to the fullness of the breath, the preciousness of this breath, the preciousness of this life. Thank you everybody for sharing your practice today. Now I send you out into the world. You did it. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you for your focus attention. That wasn't easy, but you stay with it. Very, very nice. See you, everybody.